The treat today will be, not only will you get Derek reading, but you're also, with my beautiful assistant here, will be seeing the illustrations as well, at the same time he's reading. So enjoy, sit back, listen with mother, now doesn't that say something? Listen to <laughs> Who are you calling mother? Well, exactly. <laughs> And that is not a stereotype, you know, that, that it's there, you know, the concept of you only listened with your mother. So listen with adults, listen with pleasure, listen with enjoyment, and discover the wonderful world of children's books now, which are inclusive, with great thanks and a great privilege to hand over to Derek. Bless your heart, Derek. Hello, good afternoon. I hope you like being read to. I, as a child, love being read to. Um, I think maybe, I always knew I was, I was going to be an actor, anyway, uh, right from that high. And I always knew I was uh, uh, different from, from other boys. And of course, I grew up in, um, I was born in the 30s, I grew up in the 40s. So I've kind of seen it all in my life. And um, the journey that we've taken, the journey we've gone on, has been quite remarkable. So, hello kids, hello. Now the first story, everybody got there, is called 10,000 Dresses. Every night, Baby dreamed about dresses. A long staircase led to a red Valentine castle. On each stair was a brand new dress, just waiting to be tried on. 10,000 dresses in all, and each one different. The first dress was made of crystals. When Bailey slipped the dress on, the crystals clinked against each other like millions of tiny bells. And when sunlight hit the dress just right, rainbows jumped out. With all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of crystals, that flashed rainbows in the sun. When Baby woke up, she went to find her mother. Mother was in the kitchen, cutting out coupons. Mum, I dreamt about a dress, said Baby. Uh-huh, said her mother. A dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. Uh-huh. And I was wondering, if you could buy me a dress like that. Baby, what are you talking about? You're a boy. Boys don't wear dresses. But I don't feel like a boy, Baby said. Well, you are one, Baby, and that's that. Now go away. And don't mention dresses again. <coughs> Baby went to her room. Now she would never have a dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. That night, Bailey walked right past the crystal dress and went to the second stair. There was a dress made of lilies and roses. When she slipped it on, she saw that the sleeves were made of honeysuckles. Bailey picked a few of the blossoms to taste the little drops of honey. With all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of lilies and roses, with honeysuckle sleeves. Bailey woke up and went to find Father. He was in the backyard, pulling up weeds. Dad, I dreamt about a dress, Bailey said. Uh-huh, said her father. A dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if you could grow me a dress like that. Bailey, what are you talking about? You're a boy. Boys don't wear dresses. But I don't feel like a boy, she said. Well, you are one, baby, and that's that. Now go away and don't mention dresses again. Bailey went to her room. Now she would never have a dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. That night, Bailey walked right past the crystal dress 
and the dress made of lilies and roses, and went to the third stair. There was a dress made of windows. One window showed the Great Wall of China, and another the pyramids. With all her heart, they loved the dress made of windows, which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. Baby woke up and went to find her brother. He was playing soccer with some kids. I dreamt about a dress, she told him. A dress made of windows, which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. Do you dream about dresses, baby? That's gross. You're a boy. But, baby said, it was nothing. Get out of here before I kick you. Baby ran and ran. She ran all the way to the end of the block until she came to a house with a big blue porch. An older girl was sitting there with needles and thread and old sheets. <coughs> what are you doing? Bailey asked. Making dresses, said the big girl. But it's really hard. Mine won't come out looking the same. Maybe I can help, said Bailey. Bailey told Laurel, the big girl, about the dress made out of windows, which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. <gasps> said Laurel. But how do we make a dress out of windows? We'll use old mirrors instead, said Bailey. Together the girls made two new dresses, which were covered with mirrors of all shapes and sizes. These dresses don't show us the Great Wall of China or the pyramids, said Laurel. No, said Bailey. But they do show us ourselves. You're the coolest girl I've ever met, Bailey, said Laurel. Hey, do you think we can dream up any more dresses? Bailey grinned. I think I can dream up 10,000. Oh.